What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely incredible day. I know I am and if you are you need to press the like button otherwise no joke no scam. When the war breaks out with the boomers you're gonna be on their team. Yeah that's right you're gonna have to go to war with the boomers because you're gonna get drafted by them. Nothing personal kid but if you press the like button I can guarantee you'll be on the cool millennial side of things. Real talk though guys, hope you are having a great day. I think we all know a boomer, okay? Somebody that somehow survived the Great Depression and decided to be more miserable at the end of their life. Like, bruh, I don't know why you're still mad. You made it through the Great Depression, so maybe you should just chill out. I know that boomers aren't technically that old, alright? They were born in the 50s, but that's like the same thing. Eh, 50s, 30s, whatever, same thing. Real talk though guys, I have a story today that actually comes from my little brother. I uh, guess that he and his friends were out or something and uh, some lady decided to you know lecture them about how it's very dangerous to skate without helmets on and how they might be losing their life one day at the hands of an accident and uh, my brother and them started talking to her and just messing with her and she ended up having a full-on panic attack in the parking lot of a grocery store so uh hey shout out to my brother for the content amen and it should be a pretty funny video so without further ado let's get into it but before we do have you ever been at school School, walking around and not had the coolest shirt don't let that happen again get the no joke no scam merch on the scrubby store on teespring now anyways guys yeah um i used to be a little bit of a skater myself you know i was a pretty cool kid i could do a kickflip no big deal no flex and uh my brother eventually got into skating after me he's like 14 14 i think i don't really know how old he is that makes me sound like a really bad brother but he's at the age now where he's just starting to get the freedom to like go out and skate with all your friends on a saturday just like around the neighborhood and around the town a little bit and he's been enjoying it a lot and since I used to skate, whenever something crazy happens or like he has a funny story, he comes and tells me. And yesterday he comes uh, over to my house and he walks in and he opens the door and he's like, yo, I need to tell you something now. And, you know, he throws his skateboard on the couch. He's like, look, look, listen, listen, it's a good video. You can use it on YouTube. And I'm like, all right, well, what's the story? And I guess him and his friends had gone to this like shopping center that's a little bit down the road from my neighborhood and my old neighborhood where I used to live when I lived with my brother. You know how it is. Uh, you just didn't want to get too far from home. Real talk, though. Uh, basically, there's this shopping center that's pretty busy. It's like the main grocery store for our like side of town and inside the shopping center that's pretty big. There's one side that's almost entirely abandoned except for this like Vons that is right next to it. But across the street is this like shopping mall thing that's mostly empty and there's this really cool four stair uh, four, four stairs for those of you that don't skate. That's pretty obvious. I don't know why I felt the need to explain that. At the end, that's really chill to skate because it's not very busy. There's not a lot of people around. There's a nice run up. It's got a nice run off. It's a, it's a good stair to skate. It's fun. And every skater in the town kind of knows where it is and doesn't question it too much because, you know, you just don't ruin a good thing. Like, you don't go tell the cops that, you know, hey, these kids are not bothering anyone, but we should probably get them in trouble because technically it's wrong to skate there. But for the most part, people in the parking lot leave you alone. You leave them alone. Everything's sunshine and rainbows. Except uh, for today, where apparently sunshine and rainbows was no more and somebody wanted to curb stomp a Teletubby and get rid of all the happiness in the world because my brother and his friends are skating. And as I said, it's pretty far out against the, like, the, the grocery store. Like, there's really not a reason to park near this empty side of the building. There's just not a reason to park there. But for some reason, they pull up and there's like this minivan there. They don't think anything of it and they just start skating, right? And a little bit later, this lady comes out like leaning on the cart, looking like she's having a hard time walking and is like walking towards that car, right? And they just don't think anything of it because they're like, well... You know, here's this lady. She parked over here for some reason. Obviously, she's good enough at walking to walk across the world of this parking lot to get to the grocery store. Like, when I say that this parking lot is pretty big, you know, there's a pretty big difference between Vons and where this lady parked. I'm not even kidding. You could walk to Narnia, cross Narnia, fight the Wicked Witch of the Winter or whatever, and then go to Harry Potter, beat Voldemort, come back, and the person would still be walking across this parking lot. Like, this is a big parking lot. So they don't really think anything of it because obviously if you're able to you know walk across a parking lot that big with your groceries in your hand you probably should be able to be okay or in the shopping cart same thing same thing you guys know what I meant don't be so hard on me I'm tired and I guess this lady was just having an exceptionally bad day because she loads all the groceries in her car fine and then says so what are you guys doing with your life and like I guess they didn't think that the skaters the, my brother and them like didn't think that she was talking to them she's like they're like what what do you what do you mean you know I'm skating man what do you mean 
what do you think am I doing with my life? And she says, you saw me have trouble walking all the way over here and you didn't even bother to help. Like what, you guys just skate all day? Do you think that's cool? Like you think it's fine to just skate around and not help the elderly all day? And keep in mind, my brother tells me this lady is maybe, maybe 45. Like, if she's 45, she looks great for 45. So she's probably more, you know, like 39, 40. And so my brother, you know, and his friends are kind of standing there. And finally, my brother goes, you walked all the way across the parking lot fine. You've been loading groceries for a minute. It's not like you were taking forever. What, what do you want us to do? And she's like, oh, who do you think you are to talk back to me? I'm an adult. You better respect me. And my brother, you know, just kind of like rolls his eyes. And she's like, don't roll your eyes at me. I'm just saying, next time you guys see an older person struggling, maybe you should think about what would happen if it was, you know, your grandma, your mom, and maybe you should help next time. And my brother's like, ma'am, we didn't know you were struggling. And she tells my brother, shut up. And my brother decides at this point to respond with the only thing that he can think of at the time, which is just... Okay, boomer, which I mean in the grand scheme of things is a pretty respectful response to someone telling you to shut up like shut up person I don't know. Okay, boomer. What did you just say to me? Did you just call me a boomer? I will have your head for this I'm gonna take you to the police department and have them decapitate you on site because you said okay, boomer Do you understand the damage that that can do to society? Okay, do you understand what I had to give up to be this old? I had to be born at this time. You know how hard that is for me to deal with whatever so my brother says okay, boomer and I guess at this point is when she becomes really unhinged, screaming at a bunch of kids for not helping you load groceries into your car when you're a stranger that walked halfway across a parking lot fine. And that's already pretty wild, you know. We're already on the you are a boomer Karen type of level here. Uh, where It can't get much worse, really, or at least you think it wouldn't be able to get much worse. So my brother says, okay, boomer, and I guess he says it, like, kind of quietly, but enough for her to hear it. Because what happens next is she walks over, grabs my brother by the arm, pulls him around so he's making eye contact with her. And when my brother's telling me the story, he gets really quiet and is like, she's looking me in the eyes all intense, and for a second, I thought she was gonna kiss me. Which would be a plot twist. Angry Boomer kisses young boy after calling him disrespectful? Like, hey, listen, I'm copywriting that. Nobody's allowed to take that story. I'm selling it to Hollywood. It'll be like Shape of Water, but this time, instead of a fish, it'll be like, you know, my brother getting kissed by a boomer. You know, just brother things. So now my brother is face to face with this lady that is telling him he's the worst, that he called a boomer, and she's like, oh, do you want to say that one more time to my face? And my brother, not really being afraid of this woman with all of his friends right here, just looks her in the eyes and says, okay, boomer, and like just says it to her, and she's just, how dare you? I can't believe that you would be so disrespectful. Where do you go to school? I'm gonna be calling the office on Monday, which is a really bizarre threat. Like, what are you gonna tell the school? I'm gonna, we're gonna role play this, okay? I'm gonna be the principal, and I'm gonna be the mom. <clears throat> Hello, welcome. This is Sukoblet School for Russian school children. Um, yes, I just wanted you to know that one of your students called me a boomer in the parking lot of a grocery store earlier this week, and I would like him to be punished immediately. Do you know his name? No, he's a white kid. Ma'am, that is literally everyone at this school. That does not solve any problems. I don't know what you want me to do. There are 7,000 kids that look exactly like you just described in this neighborhood. I don't know what you want. Oh, he's blonde. Congratulations. Now it's narrowed down to 3,000. Good job. Very good. Like, uh, you really, really can't... <laughs> you really can't call the school and cause a problem. Like, oh, what school do you go to? What are you going to do? Call my dad? So, whatever. They're laughing at her now, which makes her angrier. And she decides that she's like, you know what? You're not even allowed to skate here. So I'm calling the police and so my friends and or my brother and his friends are like you know you can call the cops but we're gonna be gone by the time that they get here and she's like what do you mean and they say if you call the cops why would I stay here I can just leave and she's like no you can't leave cuz I'm calling the police and she pulls out her iPhone and decides to call and be like, there's kids skating here and there's a no skating sign. And like I said, yes, you're not allowed to skate there. It's technically against the rules, but because there's no stores that are really having business there and the skaters don't really bug anyone when they're there, most people aren't, you know, just trying to stomp on fun for the fun of it. Like, most people aren't sitting there so evil-minded like, oh, look at those kids having fun minding their own business. Better ruin it by calling the feds, you know? Like, I, you're just weird, so... The lady's like, you can't leave, I'm calling the police. Whips out, you know, her little iPhone 4, some boomer phone, whatever they're using these days, and uh, starts dialing the number for 911. So my brother and his friends are like, all right, 
we're out. So they pick up their backpacks and their skateboards and they go to leave. But I guess the lady genuinely thought that she was going to like keep them there because she grabs one of my brother's friend's backpacks and like holds onto it. So he's trying to break away. He's like, lady, let go of my backpack. Lady, let go of my backpack. And now it's causing a scene. Cause like I said, it's a pretty busy parking lot. And now there's this kid screaming, let go of me woman. I don't know you. And there's some kids struggling to get away from some lady, like knuckle deep on his backpack saying, I'm calling the police. It's the weirdest thing ever. So another dad, like not her husband, husband but like a guy comes over he's like whoa, whoa what's going on here and so she explains that they're not allowed to be skating here and she's calling the police and how basically like they're gonna get in trouble this time because they skate here all the time and the dad's like well were they bugging you and she's like no but they were disrespectful that one called me a boomer and points at my brother and he's like well you really can't like they're not bugging anyone why like you let the kid go you can't hold him here if he gets away he gets away that's not your responsibility and she's like but 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 they need to be held responsible. And the dad's like, lady, let go of him. Do you understand how crazy you look? You are holding on to a stranger's kid's backpack right now, holding him here to call the police because someone called you a boomer. Like, what is wrong with you? And at that point, while he's explaining to it, she's distracted. My brother's friend, like, pulls away on his backpack to skate away. But when he pulls away, uh, boomers are not exactly built to be as flexible and have good balance as we are so he yanks just really hard he's basically like well she's letting go of me or i'm taking her with me one way or another and he just yanks and she falls over and before she can get back up all of them are on their board skating away and um i guess the dad who was there was like hey hey, hey, hey stop and they were just gone gone like the wind but uh moral of the story is Boomers really be out here calling the feds because you don't help them load in their groceries when they're perfectly fine and walked halfway across a grocery parking lot anyways. Um, I, I don't really know how applicable that moral is to your life, but there it is. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to press the like button. Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought. And as always, turn on notifications. Today's notification shout out goes to the always beautiful, fantastic Cam Dunstan. You're an absolute G, bro. I appreciate you having on notifications. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.